Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com. I've just uh, logged into my Adobe Creative Cloud on a web browser, uh, i.e. I'm not in a Lightroom mobile app or on a desktop version, uh, but I can still interact with my collections of images that I've been sharing and editing and organizing on all of my devices. Uh, I'll simply come down to LR Photos in order to uh, show you that. Uh, this will come into uh, my collections, uh, all photos. I'll just go to all collections so I can sh uh, show you how I've been organizing my work. Now again, uh, these have been organized and edited on a variety of devices, mobile and uh, computers. Um, but here I can just show you that I can quickly come into any of these collections and I can carry on organizing, sharing images. I can even edit some of these images inside of this web browser. Now obviously some of the editing um, features won't be available to us but it's um, we can do actually quite a lot of work. This is uh, an uh, unedited image of a portrait that I was uh, capturing uh, for Sony. Um, this is uh, Lucy and I can just show you that I can um, rate this image. Uh, people can comment on this image. Um, you, I can download this image if I don't have access to it on, a, on one of my devices but I could also just edit this photo uh, inside of this um, web browser. First thing I'll do is I'll just come in and uh, just crop this. Just do a freeform crop. We could crop to an aspect ratio up here but I'll just do a freeform crop there and then come over to the adjust menu. We do have uh, some options of presets here but I'm just going to do this um, by eye. I'm just going to open up the shadow values there maybe up to uh, 50 just to give a little bit more information. There is a slight delay when we're using these web browsers but it's pretty much amazing that I can actually edit this raw image <laughs> at all inside of a web browser. Uh, I'm just going to uh, lower the vibrance. Now I don't have access to uh, Photoshop uh, in a web browser and so I am just going to make that uh, skin just a little bit more um, uh, smooth just using a negative clarity. This is not something that I would do using a desktop app I would probably do some high frequency separation but if I just want to share this image quickly with the model then obviously that is going to be um, a, a lot uh, easier for the eye to look at that detail. I'll just collapse some of these panels I can open up the white balance I'll just make this a little bit warmer um, there and then collapse that one and I'll just come over to the effects and uh, put a little bit of a post crop vignette in there as well just to darken the edges off and uh, pretty much um, I've, um, I'm done so I'll just hit the save and uh, exit there um, this will take a couple of seconds to apply those adjustments. Basically it's um, talking to the Adobe Creative Cloud and um, changing the metadata of this file. Now this file will appear edited both on my desktop computer and my mobile devices. Now if I wanted to share this with Lucy I could just hit the share button down there. I'll choose um, a cover photo and uh, I'll allow uh, Lucy to download this. So I'll just click the option where she can actually download from a web browser and I'll just give this a name as well Lucy and hit save um, now that's uh, creating um, a link uh, for Lucy so here we have a link that you can find this image but I could also just post it directly uh, onto Facebook um, Twitter or Google Plus there and I can also add some text to that image so we'll just go back um, um, to my um, uh, collections there and I'll go back to all collections okay so quite quickly uh, and easily you can see even though we might not have App, um, access to uh, Lightroom whether it's on a mobile device or uh, one of our computers it doesn't prevent us from organizing editing and sharing our work okay I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com